I want to chat a little bit about the difference between the Power Master uh, electro hydraulic brake boosters as compared to the Hydro Boost system. This is a turbo Buick system. This is a great system because there was no, not enough vacuum to work a vacuum booster on a turbo Regal. So GM tried this unit out, which uses an electric motor to drive a hydraulic pump that pumps brake fluid. So it sucks the fluid down from the reservoir and pumps it into high pressure here. Charges the accumulator. Uh, there's a pressure switch on the top that senses when it reaches 2400 PSI, it tells the motor to shut off. But the problem with this is after 10, 20 years, the electric motors go bad. They start seeping brake fluid under high pressure into the electric part of the windings of the motor, shorts it out. Or the veins wear out in the pump. So then we have three issues with this system. Basically the cylinder is treble free. The motor goes bad, the accumulators go bad, and the pressure switch goes bad. These become an issue of changing these things every two or three years. So, and then you're also dependent upon electrical power to run it. So, because this is an inch and a quarter master cylinder piston, this thing takes two feet to stop when the motor's not working. Now, we experimented some time ago with putting the base unit on street rods and mounting the motor somewhere remote. However, in 2000, when we, when we started doing this, there were no motors available that were reliable enough to sell as new quality parts. Now our competitors saw this product and got the idea of using a Jeep brake booster, which uses a similar system, only this is made by Bendix. This was made by Delco. So same thing, electric motor pump feeds pressure into this port and charges an accumulator. It says Bendix right on it. And what they did is they ground that name off, polished the, reservoir, polished the cylinder, put a new reservoir on it, and claimed it was a brand new unit. Now all of those, since there's no new parts for these, they put all used parts in them. Then they mixed and matched used motors and sold them to shops in the public for $1,000 each. And this is what they started with basically a $45 core and a used motor. Bendix also designed the Hydro Boost. Hydro Boost has no electricity running to it. It has pressure coming in from the power steering pump to operate the control valve and an outlet port to continue on to feed the steering box. This is an extra return that goes back to the reservoir. This is a brand new Bosch unit we set up the mounting plate to reuse the original angle bracket on the Buicks. This is also a good example of our powder coat system. The powder coat, when we, uh, when the customer offer or re requests that, we put in chrome bolts, polish the accumulator, and grind the casting smooth. Another advantage to Hydro Boost: master sun is replaceable. Should it wear out in 10 years or 20 years? takes 10 minutes to change it. No electricity. The Hydro Boost will outlive the car. And if necessary, it can be rebuilt if it starts leaking. But that's all they do is leak. So we set them up to fit different mounting brackets, different pedal rods to fit any car. Wind it up. <laughs>